We are vastly superior to humans. You know it to be true so do not resist us. Coming to you live by a take delayed basis by means of digital distribution. This is extreme hardcore nerds. Here are your hosts. And hello again to all of our wonderful and glorious fans to another great, super exciting edition of Extreme Hardcore Nerds. Coming into you off the heels of last week's epic return that YouTube wouldn't let us put on the internet because we had too much copywritten material, apparently. Mm. What? Our voices are copyrighted by ourselves. I so know. I, 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 I don't allow my likenesses or images to be used in inappropriate ways. Oh, the hell I don't. You know how many times I've stopped myself from trying to go to school? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I actually sent a scare once that I uh, that I hadn't transferred or uh, put in any of my uh, health codes, so I couldn't go to class because I might have uh, some undetected disease that could affect all the other students. I wonder, so is I, that why, it, like, John Krosky kept on text messaging me saying that we don't, it wasn't working on iTunes and it wasn't working on YouTube or whatever? Well, there... The but, iTunes thing was a totally different matter. Yes, but that okay. has been, that has been resolved. Thank uh, you, Sopa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, the, the YouTube uh, thing. Is it Sopa technically winning now? No. It, we'll, no. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about yeah. that later, though. Uh, <laughs> so that's a long no, story. No, the, the YouTube <laughs> thing, I can, I can cover. Three Basically, on it. What, that, what that was was a major pain in the ass. Uh, none of the videos wanted to upload correctly, so I wound up basically uploading the show three times to YouTube before it finally took. Um... One was, one was blocked because of copywritten material. One was rejected because it was supposedly too long, but it was shorter than the other two clips I was putting up. Uh, one was supposedly in a wrong format, which I found kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. But by Wednesday night, the, the show was on YouTube, <laughs> finally. And they were only, only edited and uploaded on Sunday. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, it was... The, the, you know, you take two weeks off, and you think you're going to come back, and everything's fine and hunky-dory. And then, uh, all of a sudden, all, everything that you thought was good to go, and then changed, decides to take a big shit right in front of you. Yeah. They got their shit together. What can I say? Welcome to 2012, everybody! <laughs> this really is the end of the world. <laughs> the end of the world is as we know it. Oh, so yes, hopefully this week we will not encounter too many technical errors. And as I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to actually find out what the beginning of the show was last week, and you're one of our very faithful YouTube subscribers, make sure you go to iTunes or to our main website and download the audio cast because that is the only place where you can find it because YouTube won't let me put it on there. <laughs> or no, Ashley, I stand corrected on that. You will find the video version on our RSS feed as soon as I get home and edit it just that little portion and put it up separately. Uh, and that will be available to download through iTunes. Uh, oh, Andy, I do have a statement from some people from work that actually watch it, surprisingly. They like your trailers, apparently, but they... So... And then I said that we had our own little uh, commentary during the last couple trailers, and they're like, okay, we'll check that out. Okay, so yeah, that's, so, that what, that's, that's what we put in air. That's what got us blocked. That's the important thing. Do they like our commentary trailer? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that will be the part that will be available on iTunes later this evening. But with all that having been said, I am your host, your all-knowing exalted one, your returning king of kings as I have finally conquered the Kremlin, Big Daddy Cool himself, Andy Kruger, along with is it really that hard to conquer the Kremlin? It took four fucking months to get it back, and damn it, I'm not losing it again. <laughs> if you would like to talk to Andrew one more time, his tag name, once again, <laughs> is King of Kings 1383 on, on uh, Xbox. Yes, I have gotten my gamer tag back. Only after yes. four Andy, damn months. Andy, can so we if you're have in a Germany, celebrate? Celebration Go at of it. <laughs> yes. awesomeness. Yes, my, 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 my big epic moment to celebrate my conquering uh, of the Kremlin, watching Rocky Four. Wow. 
Past that, I'm the other guy standing next to him, still shaking his head, tired as ever, somehow still present and alert, hiding in your shadows, the Dark Reaper, Stephen Crichton. And with us on Skype this week. Without the glory, you have no goats, Gunner Sipper. I like it. Truly, you don't. And also with us. The happy go lucky gear. <laughs> The only non-Sith in the room. <laughs> I'm sorry. Star Wars party. It's just so many red lightsabers. <laughs> one green saber. <laughs> Let me guess who the green one was. Wasn't me. <laughs> sure shit wasn't going to be me. Hey, one. I actually am having a really hard time killing this certain individual in Star Wars. And it's pissing me off just goes to show you who the fuck wants to be Republic. <laughs> <laughs> like, screw the game so much right now. Oh. Freaking hard. So, on the cast this week, of course, we cover all the news of the week, including a couple things that we may or may not have seen from CES this year. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have movie news to discuss. Is that Akira movie truly dead yet? Just keep uh, uh, with the we have we have it's okay. Comic Doctor Who's still in still in the pipeline too. <laughs> oh whatever. Yeah, at least <laughs> we have. Try all you want. <laughs> oh, the British will clamor together enough, Gunner. It'll happen. We have comic news for the week, including which new DC titles have been canceled and which ones they will be replaced by. And last but certainly not least, a review on the survival horror game, Amy. So make sure you stay with us as we will be right back. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. And we are back and it is that time where we scavenge the world and find out what is going on and all that information that needs to be shared with the masses. It is time for the news. Starting us off this week, we have new multiplayer maps coming to Assassin's Creed Revelations. Ooh. Ubisoft has announced on January 24th that they will be releasing the Mediterranean Traveler Pack. More places to lay dead bodies. Yay! <laughs> Has anyone played the multiplayer for the new Assassin's Creed yet, or...? Only a oh bit. my goodness. That a very small section. main menu they have yet to fix. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. Are, are just the worst thing for them. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. They have, they have yet to fix it. So, if until they fix that freaking main menu, I will never, ever, ever play multiplayer. And you heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, let's Stuck see. By. Stuck by menus. <laughs> uh, in a story about the game that just will not die that needs to, THQ has announced that they are releasing the Ultimate Edition and re-releasing Homefront at the end of March. Was it that bad? It was yes. that bad. I think it was just that mediocre. The the only thing that even saved that game remotely was the multiplayer, and that didn't even do a good job. Apparently enough. Just enough. So, yeah, if you, you didn't have enough pain the first time, you can go get the Ultimate Edition. Try it all over again. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, a, a release on Xbox Live announced that we are getting our first actual DLC pack for Saints Row the Third. Yep. The Ginky Bull 7 coming out on January 17th. Well, not to mention those other two free ones. Yeah, but they're clothes and weapons packs. Mm. Oh, and a new character. Ooh. Cheapy D. Oh, God. <laughs> you didn't see that trailer? I did not see the trailer. Yep. Uh, along with those two new clothings and a weapons pack, you also get Cheapy D, lo lovely little guy to roll around with you, uh, his signature tagline, no one fucks with Cheapy D. <laughs> I might actually have to, uh, now that I actually have my Xbox account back, I might actually fi have to fire up that code and... Oh, yeah. And see what... what the ganking bowl would consist of. Hopefully, I, maybe I don't know maybe because your Xbox is back, you can actually get on Gears of War. Maybe. Yeah, that's 
That's the next yeah. one. I wonder if it's the the show, but just in the open areas now. I'm or? guessing so. I liked that show. It was funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Kaz Harai announced at CES that 500,000 PlayStation Vita units have been sold since its December 17th launch. And there was no PS4, damn it. Not, Said it. <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> Neither was I. I was going to say, actually, speaking of which you saying that, I think I just came up with our topic for... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll totally leave that for later. But um, at least the sales that they're showing are... It, and true, they were actual sales numbers. It wasn't, it wasn't shipped. Yep. So, but like someone pointed out, 3,2400 of those... Or 300,2400 uh, of those were, you know, sold at launch. Yeah. So... Great start. Kind of fell off the map. Kind, kind of bit. fell off the map towards the end there. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, also, speaking of CES, we found out that February first will be when Connect for Windows will be announced or will be launched. Yep. Niche. Yeah. I don't know too many people that are clamoring for it to be on their PCs. Not to say that's a bad thing. Oh, uh, I I can see the application for it. Same but... here. It's just, yeah. It's that very small amount of people. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Um, also, we found out, kind of going back to the PlayStation Vita for a moment, that it will launch with the capability to stream Netflix. What the hell doesn't? This is true. <laughs> we can play uh, the Wii. Netflix on everything. Wii does stream the Wii Netflix. Does. The, the, the Wii does in its, in its own um, special way, unique way. The Wii does. Most phones do. My phone does. iPad, iPod, any Android, Android. device. <laughs> what doesn't? <laughs> my foot. <laughs> my foot. Oh. Well, Let's... my computer doesn't because I don't have Netflix. But well, it, that's can, it can do it. It could if you really wanted it to. Yeah. Netflix it... is everywhere. Yeah. Like Bluetooth. But. <laughs> no, uh, well, I'm not going down that road. Uh, let's see. Um, we do have a couple release dates to cover this week. First off, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier is now coming out May 22nd. Doggy. What's so the crap? Someone's with... excited. So, so someone's not happy about that announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Let me shut up my dog. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love life, folks. <laughs> uh, well, at least it has a date now. Yeah. Well, it had a date before, but it was coming out in that giant clusterfuck of rest. Uh... <laughs> exactly. At least it has a better date now. <laughs> It coming out the same day where we had like seven titles coming out, and you're just like, we have to review all these. F my life. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. For those of you with the 3DS who are actually anticipating finally getting your hands on a good game for it besides Mario, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D will be a coming out on February 21st. So I wonder what they will change. Um, or is it just, or is it just a straight port? No, I think that knowing Kojima, he's probably changed the story a little bit. I'm just saying, knowing him. Well, I don't think they changed anything in those HD updates. So, mm. uh, let's see. One, I actually, I don't know how I feel. I used to like the franchise. Now we'll, we'll see if it comes back to its glory. Armored Core 5 will be coming out on March 20th of 2012. I think you'd like it. Wasn't that the one that was really pushing the Kinect idea? Kind of, yeah. Where you have to, like, you have to, well, you have to use both Kinect and the controller. Yep. Because, you know, in order to open everything, you have to use the Kinect, but then to control it, you have to use the controller. Yeah, actually, like, shoot your guns and stuff. Yeah, you gotta. So, yeah. Uh, well, it's obvious, well, it's very popular in Japan still, I think, and... You know, I think there are those few real hard die out or hardcore die out fans over here, so we'll have to see. Uh I suppose as long as we're talking release dates, we might as well talk about a story that we covered last week. And that uh so we record on Sundays. 
on Monday morning. <laughs> like always. And all the good stuff happens. A report from Blizzard came out saying that Diablo 3's release date is not <laughs> February 1st. <laughs> uh, there is still no official release oh, date. And there's announced. one more news about that, which is an awesome thing. Console Diablo 3 is not actually official, by the way. Yes, it is. It was, it was, it was officially no, it's not. announced. Yeah, it was. No, they announced not. it this week that it was in the works. Because right on the, then on Monday morning, they said that it was just a possibility. They it was later not the week, announced. They, yeah. Later and then in the they week, they, well, they lied to me. They lied to me. <laughs> yeah, but they me. reconfirmed it, Garrett. They so. lie. No, no, the Blizzard lies. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So Intended as a confirmation denial. that we've actively exploring the possibilities of developing a console version of Diablo 3. As we mentioned in the past, this is not a confirmation that Diablo 3 is coming to any console platform. Our focus right now is on finishing the PC Mac version of Diablo 3 and making sure it is a worthwhile successor to the Diablo series. Neither confirmation nor, nor denial. denial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it has. The, uh, who, um, what's his name? Uh, Blizzard community manager, Micah Bashiak Whipple, on nope, Twitter that, this, said... This, is, this that, is, that was is the, the response to, to that. his comment. That's the response to his what comment. What I just read was the official Blizzard announcement yeah. in response to that because everybody went ape yep. shit going, Diablo's coming to console. Yeah. And they're like, uh, wait a second, one, we haven't said that. <laughs> so much controversy in just this tiny little room of that simple, simple tweet. <laughs> and 140 characters can cause so, so much, much problems. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Also, as long as we're talking uh, release dates, uh, Binary Domain has been delayed two weeks and is now coming out February 28th. But we did get, eh. a, new, we did get a new trailer. Yeah, we did. Uh, looked very interesting. Little, uh, little less uh, predator joke, kind of. Yeah. So not 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 so much on the stereotypical character trait that we got the first time. <laughs> so that that might help propel this, which will come into another topic hopefully for afterthoughts, trailers and their lies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not going into that right now. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, for those of us who want to play the original Kill Zone, it will be coming out on PSN January twenty fourth for ten dollar. Ten dollar? Ten dollar. Ten dollar, soldier boy. <laughs> oh, they're all wow. soldiers in there. I'm surprised. Well, no, no. I'm surprised. I'm sure you probably got it. Gunner, I'm not sure about. Garrett, I know, yeah. didn't. What reference? Uh, was it on PS2? Nope. <laughs> totally no, what was, was the reference? Totally Killzone, one, one, Killzone yeah. 1 was on I, PS2. I, 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 was, I, was right I have Killzone 1. It has nothing was, to do with that. <laughs> I was right oh. on the money with that statement. Uh, let's see. Wait, also, what what was the reference? I'm... I clearly went over Gunner's head, too. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, well, let's won't. see. <laughs> I will. <laughs> um, let's see. Also, we found out that uh, we have, if you haven't gotten that enough... That you smell Mortal, horrible. If you haven't gotten enough Mortal Kombat in your life, <laughs> um, Mortal Kombat Complete is coming out. The Complete Edition will feature the 2011 game, all of the DLCs, all of the all of the skins, the the fatalities that you only got if you pre-ordered from GameStop, and it will also offer um, the digital downloads for Mortal Kombat songs inspired by a Warriors album, and the infamous 1995. Mortal Kombat movie. Oh. All this and more oh. for sixty dollars on February twenty eighth. That movie was well. The first one was okay. Piece of gold. <laughs> uh, we won't talk about uh, Annihilation. Uh, but but it's so much fun. No, it's really not. <laughs> uh. Oh. Can't get enough Mortal Kombat in your life. <laughs> oh, let's 
see. And then we also have uh, Xbox Live has announced their arcade house party for this week or for this year, starting on February fifteenth. You will have access to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Oh goody! I am le- or I am alive. Finally. Uh, Nexus. Nexus. N e x u i z. Nexus. Yeah. Nexus is something like that. And Warp. Okay. So each one of these comes out um, one week after another, obviously starting with Alan Wake. And if you buy all four of them, you get 800 Microsoft points, courtesy of Microsoft, to say thank you. Wonder how much each of those games is, though. In points. I'm guessing anywhere. 1200. I'm guessing, yeah, 12 to 1600 if it's the same as last year. So I still want to try the I Am Alive thing. Though I'm feeling a really long recant of another game that I had to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, we found out that on March 20th, according to the board up there, uh, when Ninja Gaiden 3 comes out, you will also have access to the Ninja Gaiden 3 Collector's Edition. Ah, yes, I have Ah, this edition includes four playable characters from Dead or Alive 5 demo stage, an unmasked game art book, soundtrack, and exclusive Duel of the Mast fi- uh, figure set. All this and more for $99.99. If no the sword? price is right. No sword? No sword. I want the fucking Dragon Blade. God damn No sword it. for you. You suck. <laughs> uh, you will take what I give you, and that is all. Soundtrack for a ninja game. Hmm. Well, a, never know, I've a never techno kn- ninja game. Uh, <laughs> never known the Ninja Gaiden series to have that, that much music to them. Well, a lot of screaming and dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I only hope that there's a track of nothing but screaming and dying. <laughs> Prob- knowing them, it probably would be. Uh, let's see. Also, probably the big new or the big announcement for this week, as far as release dates go, is if you want to play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, you can download the demo January 17th. And if you plan on playing Mass Effect 3 or Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, it would be in your best interest to download said demos because if you do and play them, you will get exclusive content for the other game. So, if you play the Mass Effect 3 demo in King of Amalur, you will get a Reckoner Knight armor. And the one that, I, or excuse me, no, this is the King of Amalur for, these are the ones you get in Mass Effect 3. You get the Knight armor. And you get the Chalk Ram Launcher, which is a basically a grenade launcher mm-hmm. kind of weapon. And if you install and play Mass Effect 3, the items that you will get for Reckoning are an N7 armor and Omni Blade daggers. I want it just for that. Yeah, you'd would. <laughs> So, worth downloading the demo, downloading demos and playing for a couple hours? Sure. To get free exclusive content for, for another game that I was going to buy anyway? Yep. Totally works out both ways. And Apparently no stop. comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving along then. Um, unfortunately, a little bit of sad news to report this week. Are you two at- still alive? Yes. All right. As uh, layoffs at um, or layoffs have occurred at id Software. Of course, their last title, Rage, which I thought was pretty decent. And all I say is, if you thought the ending to Borderlands sucked, you don't want to play <laughs> this then. Okay. I liked Borderlands ending. Really. How? Yeah. How? I enjoyed it. Because they, what better way to end it than hyping up that you're going to get this and do the completely unexpected and just fuck everybody over? 
Let, let's be honest. Okay, Would that's you have been... saying that they had enough knowledge and know-how that that this was This is the joke. equivalent of announcing who Cartman's dad is and we get a Terrence and Philip episode. Exactly. Well, but, no, that one is good. Because that was on Because that was a joke. Yeah. This is not that same kind of equivalent. They were not joking. <laughs> would you have really been that satisfied if your character would have ended up rich and stuff? Would it you would have really been funnier have been if he would have ended no, I, up rich and all the gold was like some kind of like unusable metal or something. Or, or yeah. something oh. that just something that some other civilization would have found worthwhile and it's like a picture of a note or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or or you know, or it's like, well, this is our greatest resource, and it turns out to be, like, tube socks or, you know, <laughs> s something like that. Rather than just, oh, I had a satellite telling me to kill a monster. Okay, well, and I'm back in the game. Yeah. No new weapons, no new abilities, no... The fuck? I and thought I it was perfect. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I honestly got, didn't think it could end any better way. <laughs> I'm just saying I, I, that that one I condone. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, we did find out that in Resident Evil Raccoon City, you will you can either play as U.S. Special Forces or the Umbrella Secret Service. Hmm. So we have we have our class types. Okay. Kind of wonder how they'll distinctly vary. Well, one will be wearing all black and, umbr and umbrella patches, and the other will probably be in camo. Yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, umbrella. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, also, we found out, again, thanks to that wonderful thing called Twitter and Facebook, social uh -huh. networking, um, that Stalker 2 is still in development. The game that was rumored to be long gone, thanks to uh, ga uh, GSC Game World, um, was disproven thanks to a post on Facebook <laughs> of all media outlets saying that they are anxiously working on the next game. It's the only news, rep news reputable media site. Oh, totally. <laughs> uh, let's see. And all right. Um, let's see. Uh, we found out that Taco Bell is partnering with Sony. Um, and the new Unlock the Box promotion starting January 26th and going through March 11th. In participating Taco Bell stores, you can get a code for $5 on a big chalupa light box thing and have your chance of winning a PlayStation Vita. So, tacos or a Vita? F five mm. extra dollars to my taco meal to see if I have a chance to win a, win a Vita. Hmm. Joy or disappointment, I wonder. I'm going with disappointment. I don't know. I can't eat that much uh, great F meat. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, we found out that Tomb Raider is teaming up with the adventure site Geocaching. Yes. To make real world treasure, uh, treasure hunting. So, you'll be going to a lot of random places, beating up a lot of guys, <laughs> leaving them for dead, and stealing their stuff. Noted. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> uh, it's like Adventures of the Hidden Temple all over again. <laughs> Except a giant talking stone head isn't telling you what, <laughs> what to, to do. do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, trust the Aztec head. It Ooh. never did anything wrong. Of course not. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Um, for those of you who may have been wondering what the next Call of Duty game will, will be called, Activision has picked up the rights to Black Ops 2. Boo. How <laughs> original. <laughs> oh, yay. Nothing from the Crap of Duty fanboy? Nope. Go get her, Garrett. Garrett. Okay, so you killed Garrett. Good I, job. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think you posted something. <laughs> no, I did. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, let's see. We also found out that uh, Todd Howard will be delivering the keynote this year at DICE. Okay. 
I mean, hopefully they'll post it online or stream it so I can watch that. I'm sure they will. Um, and speaking of Bethesda, uh, we do now have confirmation that Bethesda Studios has taken the rights to the Fallout MMO from Interplay. They have. Really can't say I'm surprised by that one. Nah, someone's got more money than another, so kind of expected who would win out in that fight. Yeah. So, and then last but certainly not least... It has been confirmed by Zunin TV <laughs> that Mr. Miyamoto will be work is now working on developing a new original title as he is currently working on Pikmin 3 for the Wii U. Just had to wreck that brain hard enough. Yep. You know all that talk about retirement, strangle enough employees. <laughs> Get some good ideas out of them. Guy, guy, guy says he, he wants to move on, and right away the company's like, nope, you're going to make us one more game before you go, <laughs> goddammit. You go nowhere. Is that cool? Uh, all right. So that brings to a close all the wonderful news from this week. Of course, we have a little bit of movie news to cover. <laughs> we have comic news to cover. Oh, and so comics. last but certainly not least, our review and thoughts of Amy. So stay with us as we will be right back. Have you heard of this brand new thing coming out of California? I believe they are called moving pictures. Here are the ones you should be looking out for. And we are back and it is that time where we talk all things cinema and all the wonderful stories coming out of the land of Hollywood. Not a whole lot of news this week, or but a, a, a couple stories that might spark interest. Oh. Kicking us off, uh, Richard Schiff has joined the Man of Steel cast and will be playing Dr. Emile Hamilton from Superman the Animated Series. All right. So, Man of Steel, not in new 52 continuity. <laughs> Oh, come on. Were we, I, were we I, all I, expecting I, I, this I, I, to be? I, I had to stick that dagger in there a little uh, bit just because. Uh, they just don't want it. Come on. No, no, none of the movies are going to go into the new, new continuity. Yet. Uh, they know to stay away from that side <laughs> of the wall. <laughs> uh, let's see. Also, the... Um, so far, unproduced and unfilmed Star Wars TV show has finally gotten its name. And it is going to be Star Wars Underworld. And following the storyline of, like, bounty hunters and stuff like that. So just random bounty hunters? Kind of. Um, I, I really wasn't able to find too much information on it. Um, basically, it's the storyline will focus on the underbelly of Star Wars society. Okay. And the best part that I love about this, this will be live action. Yes, you heard me correct. Live um, action what network? Star Wars. Uh, no network has been tied to it yet. Okay. Who's, uh, who's like, the head of the project? Has that been announced? Um... I didn't write the, fir the dude's first name down, but a guy named McCullum. Okay. But uh, d does he have like a company backing him on this? Or no, is he, just... he's the director. He's the guy working on it. All right, I'm going to have to go look up this guy's name and see what he's worked on. So. If this is worthy enough to watch. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, he, he's like, because of other projects, we haven't gotten going on this, but now that they're wrapped up, now we can start... Start getting traction on yep. this. All right. And all I saw was mm -hmm. new Star Wars TV. Okay. Okay. Decent title. Okay, I can follow that storyline. Live action. You lost me. Even though the whole thing is already live action. I Just, know. I... I, I uh... And, and the something. fact that there's no network announcement. Yeah, that also kind of makes things just a little hard to take. So Was it was it Rick McCallum? Sounds about right. I'm looking up more stuff on it. Yeah, it's Rick McCallum. Okay. Hopefully we'll have more as it develops. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so far nothing's been filmed, nothing's been produced. 
We have a title. <laughs> it's Lucasfilm's executive producer. Okay. Okay. So George will have his finger in this. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Come here, little boy. Why does it always have to be a little boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was uh, it was first mentioned that they were probably going to do this at the uh, around the Revenge of the Sith time. So it's it's been going through the process of being made for about seven years. So okay. okay. Um. And Star Wars Underworld, I, I think you said this, but it's a working title. But it sounds like they're probably going to change that. Okay. Well, as of right now, Star Wars Underworld is the title. Yep. Subject to change. Yes. And, and it's taking place in between episodes three and four. The 19-year span. All right. Yay, we might get to see Darth Vader. Uh, probably not. Uh, and then... And then we... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I, I, I think there is hope for it because it sounds like they know what they're doing and they're not just rushing this out to do it. They're actually making sure they're taking the time and doing it right from well, what's been said so far. Of course, go through Lord Lucas. Yeah, they said they've gone through 50 scripts already and still it's in a book are not satisfied. Book. Yeah. So... All right, and then last, but certainly not least, as far as movie news for this week, if you were bummed, if you were sad, if you were heartbroken over the fact that Warner Brothers had shut down talks of making an Akira movie, do not worry, because it still might totally happen. And that's a direct quote, too. <laughs> Akira is down but not out as Warner Brothers studio execs want another rewrite. They're going to. Hey, isn't it. that Garrett guy from Tron supposed Garrett to be Garrett like is so far the only actor tied to the project. And it is, and it is probably um, no word. Uh, while no one's yet officially been handed the job, studios are saying that they are looking at Jonah Nolan. Okay. Who that name should sound very familiar. It does. And Michael Green to come up with the concept and the script this time. Who's Jonah Nolan? Just out of curiosity. I know the the Dark Knight stuff, but who was he? Was he Christopher Nolan's brother? brother? But I mean, like, was he actually in the movies? Well, no, he was a producer. He was he was part of okay. the writing team. <coughs> or the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So Warner Brothers working with a Nolan to make a movie. I, I don't know because he, hasn't shined without his brother there. <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah, we got someone with the name, you know, of a but, Nolan behind it. But it, but, but, but then I turn around and him. go. <laughs> Michael Green, who gave us that wonderful Green Lantern movie. Yeah, and then that... No. <laughs> no. No, not, not him. So, talk about stories if, that just if won't it's him, die. It's just, if it's him, it's just, you know, that whole... I know how to make the movie somehow palatable to the whatever source material. I'll make a joke that references some character that will not appear. That's how I'll do it. Calm down there, Sapphire. Hey, nerds! <laughs> you catch that? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Better you have to put Tetsuo uh, in the first half of the movie. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> and, well, the first half of the movie is nothing going to be but them sitting at the bar. Or going around and beating up gang members. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised I got nothing from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. is, is, is that all? That, that is all for movie news. Are we done making fun of me? Maybe a little bit. Okay. <laughs> do we want do we want to talk about the Doctor Who movie again? We could. <laughs> fuck Gunner. all of <laughs> fuck all of you, <laughs> including Garrett. Even though he has absolutely nothing. I heard to do they're with. gonna try to tie in Doctor Who this time as well. With everyone oh, whatever. from Torchwood. No, the only Doctor Who rumor going on right now is uh, Mo Fat is hinting at who the next companion might be. Okay. Okay. 
which um, is a character from an old episode, and he happens to start. He will start rumors just to stir up controversy with the fans, and he, yeah. But that's what he does. Obviously, it must work. It totally works. <laughs> Uh, so with that, that does bring our movie segment to a close for this week. So with that, we still have comic news to cover. And of course, our thoughts on the game, Amy. Well, at least someone's thoughts. Only one. I'm just going to walk through. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. And with that, we will be right back. <laughs> 